And then I know the, the Fifth Circuit has kind of a unique en banc procedure. So once a case has already been decided and that comes in, how, how does the court handle en banc rehearing motions? All right. So we get, I think, usually over 200 a year. That's, that's an active part of the court. Um, and then a judge can also, even without an, an en banc petition, a judge can pursue that, any judge on the court um, or any active judge on the court can pursue a vote um, of a case. Um, and I think what, you know, a small number are granted each year, um, fewer than 10 typically. Um, we have three times each year when we hear on en banc cases, January, March, or I'm sorry, Janu January, May, and September. Now, a case may not get voted for that sitting, but there are three, you know, preset sittings um, to spread out the en banc cases. Um, and so if you look at the total number of en banc cases heard, it's, it's a very small percentage of the petitions that get filed. I think what, what may not be as apparent, though, is that sometimes the en banc process may lead to a modification of the opinion um, without the need for full en banc court review. There's memos get exchanged between the, the panel and a judge who may have concerns, and the panel can, can make a modification that results in, in issuing a, a new opinion. Um, so that, that's another part of the en banc process that may not be as apparent on the outside.